Life changing move to Louisville filled with hope and determination. WDRB's Darby Bean shares the story of one woman's journey to regain some of what she lost in an accident over a decade ago. Ashley Williams was told that some of the things she's doing now would never happen. She was paralyzed in a car wreck as a teenager, but she's using her story to share hope with others and in her words, show the beauty of how far she's come. Up. Through these doors. Down. Yeah, just give it a couple of tries. Is a mix of science and determination to make the impossible. Come on. Well. Up. Possible. There you go. Even for me to feel like I have that connection, it, it takes me a second. Each movement, no matter how small, is significant for Ashley Williams. There's a little. I always tell people I don't feel as disabled as society makes me feel. 12 years ago, when she was just a teenager, a car wreck <laughs> changed Ashley's life forever leaving her paralyzed. But from the beginning, she's refused to let her injury break her spirit. <laughs> I want people to know that just because I'm not walking doesn't mean I haven't made recovery. Like when I first came home from the hospital, I couldn't move my right arm at all. I could barely twitch my left arm. And now I can move both my arms. I can do all kinds of things. It's now been more than a decade and Ashley is still working toward recovery. Thanks to epidural stimulation, a recent surgery involved implanting an electrode into her back connected to a battery. And she now has hope for even more independence to get some movement back in her legs. We're using the, the stimulation right onto the spinal cord area to activate the, or increase the excitability of the spinal cord and help it remember those functions that it used to do prior to uh, being injured. Remembering what her body hasn't done in years and training to make those movements once again. To rebuild those signals, like you have to focus and you have to put in 100% effort and you have to try like as hard as you can. This part is called mapping. The iPad is a controller sending signals to the stimulator as Ashley uses all of her strength concentrating to move each leg. Her recovery up is a full time job down. I'm here Monday through Friday. All right, one more time. I'd be here on the weekends too if I could. Ashley is just about a month out of surgery and the work ahead of her is just getting started. If I was trying to do something like this before I had surgery, it would have just felt like my legs were stuck in concrete. It would feel like the connection's going down, but nothing's happening. She's a participant in epidural stimulation research for spinal cord injury at the University of Louisville. Since 2009, more than 30 patients here have had this surgery. It offers each participant uh, hope in, in the perspective. Those with the program say people with even the most severe spinal cord injuries have been able to stand again, and some can take a few independent steps. Time and effort will tell what Ashley is able to regain, and it may be slower than one step at a time, but it's on her time, and she's confident she's in the right place. The quality of life is the main goal. Like. Regardless of whatever you get back or whatever you want to get back, the quality of life Up. is better by the end of it. Down. Ashley will likely spend about two more years here in Louisville focused on the program. She says her biggest goal is to be able to eventually transfer herself, meaning move herself from her wheelchair to a couch, bed, or into the car all on her own. Darby Bean, WDRB News. We